to uh, the United Nations activities this week. Uh, when the President laid out his strategy earlier this month to combat the Islamic State group, uh, one of the things that Secretary Kerry and other folks here at the White House said was that uh, they expected uh, other nations to have their com commitments to this coalition to basically be firmed up by the time we go to New York uh, this week for the General Assembly. Is that still the case, or is the President looking to use the next few days uh, to continue to press countries to contribute to the effort uh, and to broaden the coalition that he's building? Josh, the effort to build a coalition is something that will be ongoing uh, for weeks now. Uh, the President and members of the Cabinet, including the Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel, the Secretary of State John Kerry, other senior members of the national security team that work here at the White House, have been actively engaged with their counterparts in countries around the world uh, 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 related to um, contributions to this broader coalition to degrade and ultimately destroy ISIL. Uh, this is a this is a this is a high priority, uh, and we have seen uh, important uh, public commitments uh, from individuals from individual countries uh, around the globe, uh, indicating their support for the goals that the president has laid out for this broader coalition. Uh, and uh, we will never reach the place, or at least I don't anticipate reaching a place. Maybe I'll be wrong, but I don't anticipate that we will reach a place where we sort of stand up from the desk and say, our efforts to build this coalition have been completed. Uh, this will be ongoing work. Uh, and there is this important task that General Allen is principally focused on, uh, which is assessing the needs of the coalition. And again, those needs will uh, be, will, will change uh, over time. Uh, and he will also be assessing the capabilities uh, of individual nations who are committed to being part of the broader coalition uh, and matching up those capabilities with the needs of the coalition uh, will be work that's ongoing. So uh, the, I do anticipate that when the President is participating in activities associated with the United Nations General Assembly in New York this week, that he will have the kinds of conversations uh, with world leaders about how and uh, how they can contribute to this broader international coalition. Uh, but that is work that uh, has been going on for weeks in advance of the United Nations General Assembly. It's work that will occur during the United Nations General Assembly. Uh, and the efforts of the President and other members of his team to build this coalition will continue uh, long after the United Nations General Assembly has gaveled to a close.